Alrighty, folks, welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, it's been a couple years. We're going to do a kind of modded season three, um, probably more caravanning than just sitting and trying to build our spaceship. Uh, I do have a very long mod list. Um, we've got Hugs Lib, which is required for a lot of mods. We have Miscellaneous Core, which is required for some. We have Giddy Up Core, because we have Giddy Up. I have Pack Mules Extended because we're doing um, caravanning. I have Sunlights for interior growing that go on walls. I have Quality Builder because uh, it allows the higher, the person with the highest construction stat to build. We've got Fahrenheit and Celsius for those of you who use Fahrenheit and those of you who use Celsius. I use Fahrenheit, so that will be the main one. Uh, we have replace stuff, which allows us to change the materials of walls and dressers and all of that stuff. We have pharmacist, which allows us to choose which level of medicine we want to use for what injuries. We have the allow tool, which is a big staple for most um, most worlds these days. We have trading spot, which sets a trading spot. I have simple sidearms, which allows me to do both a... Um, Ranged weapon and like a melee weapon at the same time. Feed the colonist allows us to just produce four simple fine lavish or survival meals. Um, also allows for stacks of kibble and pemmican. Hardworking animals. The animals work more if they can do that. Um, hand me that brick just puts... Uh, uh, allows haulers to put stuff into construction frames. Uh, mad skills. Skills don't um, deteriorate. Wait, was that say turn off skill degradation and learning saturation? Oh, nice. Uh, mending and recycling is mending and recycling items, mainly clothing. Uh, run and gun, you can move and shoot. Simply more bridges. They added bridges into beta 19. Uh, this adds heavier bridges so that you can actually put some certain stuff on them. Uh, we have tilled soil which will be nice. We have Where's My Weapon. Um, pawns should go re-equip their weapons. While You're Up is a... If you have someone on the corner of the map who's um, doing some mining, they'll haul something back on their way back in. Colony Manager is very useful for resource management. Fluffy Breakdowns means that I don't have to... Like, just something just doesn't stop working. Um, the Work tab takes over job priorities, gives us 1 through 10... There's extra. I can actually choose everything in the middle. Um, I probably will not use EDB prepare carefully. It's here just in case. Uh, Stack XL, higher stacks. Moody allows us to see our colonist moods. And then we have battle mounts. We've got the rim fridge, which is a... You can have it outside of your fridge. I didn't want to quarry in here. Uh, wall light allows us to put lights on the walls. We have miscellaneous robots. We've got the medical tab, the animal tab. We have the expansion for miscellaneous robots. Um, I have realistic rooms so they can be smaller. Defensive positions so that they remember where they were supposed to be. Tables Plus gives us a one by one as well as linkable tables and stools. Uh, cleaning area gives us a cleaning area. They won't always clean the home zone or I can tell it to clean the home zone. Autopsy table. I haven't really messed with this yet. Supposedly we're supposed to be able to pull Organs and biotics out of corpses, which sounds awesome. Uh, we've got more turrets. We've got pickup and haul, uh, which is they'll colonists will pick up stuff into their inventory and then take it to a stockpile, which means that they can haul a whole lot more. Uh, we have a research tree by Fluffy, which is vastly different than the base game. Uh, a dog set is prosthetics for dogs, or I should say, bionics and prosthetics for animals. We have Giddy Up for caravanning, and we have Giddy Up Ride and Roll, so they'll run around the map. Uh, search and Destroy, if I turn it on, they'll automatically go and try to kill whoever's there. They won't just sit around and do nothing. Soil Clarifier just makes it easier to see between um, say rich soil and poor soil and mud. Setup Camp allows us to set up camp while we're out. Glitter Tech is higher tech walls and everything. Quality Surgeon... Um, the higher, what's the word I'm looking for? The higher medical will 
be the ones to perform the actual surgeries. And then easier grow zones is just, I can actually create a grow zone in rich soil or in whatever soil I want without having to sit there and fine tune it. Uh, I do need to reload real quick, but that's okay. These, I was gonna say it doesn't take very long, but apparently it actually resets the game. That's new and interesting and awesome. So yeah, that's the plan is we are going to, we're not going to be building a starship. We're going to be traveling to the, to the AI's starship. Um, for those of you that haven't played RimWorld before, I will try to explain some stuff that I can, but it is going to, I am going to kind of just plow through a lot of stuff. Um, we're going to go with a new colony. Uh, we're going to do crash landed. I've tried naked brutality. Oh, it's bad, especially with this mod list. It is annoying. So yeah, we're going to go with crash landed. Uh, I'm going to go on medium, but Randy random. And we're going to, the only time I'm doing reload anytime is because if it crashes, I want to be able to reload. I would like to be able to, actually, I guess it doesn't matter because if it crashes, there's still the auto saves. There's just one save file for commitment mode. Whereas any time I can have multiple save files. Let's just do commitment mode. Um, medium is fine. It's going to be a little bit slower at the beginning, but that's okay. Randy, random, literally anything can happen at any point in time. Uh, I'm going to do 50% map. Seed's going to be strength. And let's get the world generated. All right. That did not take nearly as long as I thought it would. We're going to do this the easy way. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and try to pick and choose something. I'm just going to hit a random tile. Arid Shrubland. Well, this might be a little bit difficult, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. We've got granite, sandstone, and slate. That's fine. It's flat. That's going to be annoying. However, we can grow year-round. It's just going to be a little bit on the hotter side. 77 to 90 is the average temperature. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. All right. So, let's see who we're working with here. You're not bad, except I don't want anyone... I don't need anyone with artistic, I should say. You have hearing loss, but you're excellent. And you can't do anything, so you're automatically gone. Uh, you are incapable of dumb labor and autistic. Dumb labor, violent, social caring. Holy cow, most of these... Wow, okay, cool. You're incapable of dumb labor. All right, well, this is where Prepare Carefully comes in. Um, be here. We're going to make her a little bit younger. Maybe let's go with 56. Uh, I'm going to remove her hearing loss. Psychically dull. Chemical fascination. Those are both fine. It's this that I want to change. So instead of an actor, we need crafting and social, huh? Um, well, that's not bad. We'll just go to addiction counselor. With chemical fascination, that sounds amazingly bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's start with no injuries. Psychically dull, greedy, teetotaler, psychically dull, cannibal, nimble. That's fine. These are all fine. Uh, I'm actually going to raise you up to 20, so you get a second one, and it's not going to be Jailbird. Although, what does Jailbird give you? That gives you melee and cooking. Okay, how about some sort of army soldier, army cook? Firefighting, doctoring, and wardening. Never mind. Um, doctoring is not bad. Wardening and um, firefighting are the ones that I don't want to worry about. How about a, oh, never mind. That's like everything. Construction, crafting, medical, intellectual. No. I could just random. Or I could just go to the next. Incapable of none. Sure, that works. Plants and intellectual. Uh, no. We don't actually need you on plants. Lone traveler. Artistic minus two. Yeah, you know, that's not bad. Good shooter. She'll be our main hunter for a little while. Ah, right. These are all supposed to be guys. Okay, so I'm going to change your hair. I don't care if it's wavy or not. Let's just make it not not that. Uh, so let's see here. 
You're fine. Let's make you, let's see here. You've got, you're shooting an artistic. Your animals crafting, social, intellectual. And here we've got cooking, animals, and intellectual. So this is going to be me. Uh, I have like a grand total of five people. <laughs> They're all guys. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I have, let's make this Oreo. And this will be Hell Hunter. Okay. Um, how about just Mr. Hunter then? I'll just go with Hunter. There you go. <laughs> no Hell Hunter. Uh, all right. So I'm liking it. Let's let's get in. So I'll meet you guys when we land. All right. I probably could have just talked through that. I might even just leave it in. So the three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. All right. Let's watch everybody land. Hi, guys. Oh, we got a... We got a Yorkshire Terrier. Maybe I should have done that with something different. Anyway, this is the map we get. This is actually not bad. That's probably the ancient danger. We do have a little bits of hills to where we can mine some stuff, so that's going to be good because we're going to need steel, which that is. Um, we have plenty of animals to start taming. We have several grow zones. This one's nice. Nice and large. Um... I think we're going to put the base, I think we're going to put it here. That way I'll have access to the uh, steam geyser, all of that. Now, let me get everything set up, and then I shall meet you guys back here. All right. So I got all our work priorities set up. Um, the little half circle here that you see means that they're not going to be doing some stuff, like tending or performing autopsies or doing operations. Uh, but they can still feed prisoners, animals, pawns, patients, um, take patients to bed and visit sick people, stuff like that. Uh, the same is true for wardening. Most of it's turned off except for chat with prisoners because, well, with a social skill of 11, there's no contest there. Um, stuff like that. I can use home to unforbid everything on the map. And then you can use the two, uh, the greater than and less than keys to go through everybody. I need bio. You're a shooting of eight. Okay, cool. You get the big gun. Uh, you get the small gun. And for now, you get the plasteel knife. Now, everybody's going to eat. And I'm actually going to shrink this a little bit. Actually, no, let's leave it that size. Um, because that allows me to... I can switch over here and see who's best at what. Like, for example... Uh, Oreo is best at um, animals, so he's going to be doing most of our animal stuff. Now, first thing that needs to happen is we need to chop some trees. Um, part of that is because we need wood to build. Um, I'm actually just going to expand off of this. So I need wood to, well, expand off of that. Second thing we're going to do is um, actually just, how about select similar? And we'll go in a small area, kind of like this. And choose harvest. That'll get us some initial food. Uh, and then I need to wait for a minute while everybody goes and chops down at least one tree. That's all we need for now is just one. Okay. Uh, let's get in here. Let's build some structures. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's replace this to wood. No, actually, let's not. <laughs> uh, let's do something like that. We'll put a door um, over here. Let's build, I don't know, let's build a decent sized room for everybody to 
do everything in. And then where do we want our bedrooms? Uh, let's make a couple entrances here. Let's do something like five by fives, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Or four by fours. Was that four by five? No, well, that's four by four, okay. And then I need one more bedroom. There we go. Walls. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And then for now, just because I don't know how fast they're going to get to all this, we're going to have some sleeping spots. And then we just kind of let everything go. Let's speed it up. Um, I do have plant cutting, growing. Uh, what else do we have up front? Wardening, handling, all of that stuff's first. Um, cooking's first. Hunting and constructing are second. So after they get all of this cut... Um, oh, right. That's what this room is for. This room is just going to be a straight-up stockpile for now. And then... Yeah, let's just let it go. It's fine. Our Yorkshire Terrier can kind of do whatever he wants. Um, what do you guys produce? Well, apparently they produce nutrition stuff. All right. Let's wait for things to be built, and then I'll harvest these. Um, as you can see, the two not con set to actually construct stuff are just delivering everything. Um, they're doing basically hauling jobs, and I'm just running around building everything. It's great. Uh, they're also set to do roofs and every on all of that stuff. So, wow, this is going up really fast. Holy cow! That's awesome. I love it. Everybody's eating lunch. <laughs> I hate botched construction. All right, I am going to need to find a way to cool everything down relatively quick. Uh, probably, I'll end up probably using uh, passive coolers. Because that'll just make everything so much easier. Well, people have rooms. And we st do we still have wood left over? I'm going to harvest these now. Um, we might actually be out of wood. Seriously? Really? That's, nope. Um, let's select everything on the map. We have 72 wood. Okay. So let's not build beds as of just yet. Hey, Drizzle, can I get you to finish this real quick so stuff's not uh, deteriorating? Thank you. And build the roof areas. Nope, still unroofed. Um... Unroofed one. Probably somewhere over here. Well, this is fun trying to find this one. There it is. All right. So now this is indoors. Uh, these will not, well, I guess it's stuff like this, will not deteriorate anymore. Um, agave contains a little tiny bit of nutrition. That is not very much. What are you used for? Raw agave fruit. Great, thanks. <laughs> That's just what I wanted to know. <laughs> uh, wow, it hasn't even been... It's It's been basically one day. Um, I need to get some production and stuff set up. So let's get a butcher table. Uh, let's put you there. Let's get a stonecutter's table right next to it. A research bench will stick over here. And then uh, we don't necessarily need a crafting spot or a butchering spot. I would like a basic management desk. You require just wood, wood and steel, wood and steel, and wood. Okay. Uh, let's build the fueled stove. Let's put it over here, actually. That way it's nice and close to the food. I'm um, also going to expand this while I'm thinking about it. And then we need some more 
Some more wood. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yeah, we're going to... A lot of this is going to be um, blocks. That's what we're going to end up making a lot of is blocks. Uh, so actually, let's build, copy, and cancel. Let's move you over one. Let's get a door here and then a dumping stockpile right there. That way, once this gets built, I can just restrict its range to just pull from right around itself. It makes everything so much easier. Uh, I'm also going to turn on down here, toggle automatic rebuild of destroyed structures in home area. Because it makes things much easier. Uh, since this is part of our house, I guess I should claim it. Really? This is actually ours? Cool. Probably because of the the um, wall that I built. Or the roof. The roofing. Let's get some more harvest done here. I'm going to halfway pity myself if I get trapped in there. Because it is going to be funny. <laughs> okay. The nice thing is now I can deconstruct this. Oh, yeah, we start with steel. Beautiful. Oh, come on. Seriously? We haven't even started, and we also already get a plague? All right. Come in here, buddy. Uh, who's our doctor? Our doctor is Hunter. Hunter, what are you up to? Hunter is praying. Uh, no. Thank you. You can pray in a minute. Tend to ashes first. I don't know if this is going to help. Oh, man, that's going to be so close. Uh, let's see here. Do I see any... I don't. Heal root. I'm looking for, for wild heal root. Um, it looks like this weird spindly crab thing. All right. Well, it looks like... We're going to be doing a grow zone in rich soil, uh, approximately here. Let's make this heel root. Of course not. Why would we? <laughs> Let's get another grow zone in rich soil um, for all of this. And I'll leave you at potatoes. That's fine. Potatoes don't take too long. Um, however, they're not the best. In terms of, uh, how are you doing? Are you actually ahead? You are ahead. Good. Whew. Would be very bad if our if our um, our dog died on the first day. That would be so so sad. Okay, let's see here. Let's get. Um, I need recreation. We need a horseshoe. Let's get you out over here. Um, let's get a chess table in as well. Some stools. We'll put one here and here. Uh, we need a table. So let's do a little two by two thing. Let's put it pretty much right in the middle of the room. And let's do actual dining chairs. That'll give us, give us a social, social gather spot. The um, oh, yeah, I needed temperature, and we needed passive coolers for now. Uh, and then you guys can all get hauled. That's great. Awesome. So who has the highest planting? Six. Oreo. Okay. So I hope Oreo gets that taken care of here relatively soon. But you guys can see what I mean by it's so much easier to have that mod installed <laughs> okay you get bills add build make any stone block uh, do forever but from this very limited range uh, not quite you need to go up by one more there we go yeah to include this uh, and then here we need bills add bill 
Cook four simple meals. Do until we have, oh, I don't know, let's say 20. And unpause when we reach 10. Or lower. Oh, look at that. I can now take this and just expand the zone. That way now nobody has to... Uh, oh, man. Psychic drone on males. That means every male... Um, doesn't essentially has a worse mood over here in the needs. You can see low psychic drone negative twelve. Yeah, that uh, they don't like that. Really? What can I fuel you with? Um, a wood fueled stove. Never mind. We might not have that for very long. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Let's get all of you guys hauled and harvested if we can. Get some more agave in here. Because we can make actual meals with agave. And the meals have nutrition of 0.9. The agave has a nutrition of 0 0.05. So, meals made with agave, much better. Okay. Okay. Mario is going to play some horseshoes. Let's let everyone get some stuff hauled. Uh, I could start a research tab. And as you can see, this is the different research screen. Uh, I'm not exactly used to this screen, so it may take me a little bit to get around. I, we don't currently have water on our, on our current place, so I'm not going to worry about... Um, getting water. However, I do need to worry about electricity, which we already have. So we want stuff like mending. Um, we can get that. We want geothermal power as soon as we can. So how about I do that and then mending. Um, with this, with the, with the Fluffy's mod for research, you can research multiple things. Uh, we can, we don't have enough food coming in just yet to do any of that. We don't have any robots. We just have the one, um, plague major 87, 79. Yeah, you're going to survive. All right. Uh, this is the pharmacist tab that I was talking about. You can change these to whatever you want. Um, I just wish that there was an option for that. They, they, they moved bruises to their own thing um, because cuts I would like to use um, herbal meds for, but bruises you don't have to use anything for, So, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. What else is down here that's useful? The medical tab will tell me who... Wow, that's actually really, really good. Um, animals, you can see here that we have a disease, the whole body plague. Um, so moving and consciousness are reduced. I can do prisoners, visitors, hostiles. That's nice. I didn't actually know that, that all that was in here. And then the, the, um, I would call it the piece de resistance, but it's not, it's just the management tab. Uh, I can choose hunting. I'm actually going to choose here. We're only going to cut full mature trees. 500 is fine. Uh, we're not going to worry about livestock just yet. Foraging, edible plants, which apparently includes mushrooms, only full. And then here, I would like all metal and precious, including jade, to automatically be mined. Up to, I don't care, just mine it. <laughs> I wish there was an infinite option for that, but there isn't. So as soon as we get a manager desk built... Uh, they'll start working on that. And we do have, we have 47. Oh, we have, we have 40 and seven. Okay. That makes more sense. But, uh, yeah, probably with my, uh, cuts at the beginning for loading the world and, uh, all of that, I am going to, we are probably close to 30 minutes. Oh, perfect. All right. What do we want to call this? Um, what do we want our faction name to be? Not Cabo. No. The World's League of Ryoan. Watista. <laughs> Eastern Era. 
Bonfarin? Some of these are hard to pronounce. How about Terthader? <laughs> I like Terthader. <laughs> and this settlement, uh, let's call it, sure. No, not Turnip Hamlet. Um, how about Progresso? All right. So we are now known as the Terthader. And this particular community is known as Progresso. So with that, I am going to end off today's episode here. I hope you folks enjoyed it. If you did, especially since this is the first episode, hit that like button down below. Let me know that you guys are enjoying this. Uh, to be fair, this is planned as just filler um, between now and when... I forgot the name of the game. <laughs> uh, between now and when... Valkyria Chronicles 4 releases. Uh, however, if this kicks off, if you guys like it, if you want me to keep going, if we end up crashing in the next, like, I don't know, couple episodes, um, anything like that, if you want this to keep going, let me know. Uh, I, I have always loved RimWorld. I sometimes get frustrated, but that's just because I almost always play on Randy Random, and I used to play on Randy Random Rough. Um, so yeah, this time we're taking a little bit more laid back. Hopefully it's not too bad, but yeah. And then, uh, if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, it, uh, it helps out. I get more subscribers. I get more video views. The videos actually show up for you guys. All that fun jazz. Uh, plus you can always go out and check out some of my other content. I've been making content for over four years now. I seriously feel like this is a sales pitch. <laughs> anyway, I will catch you folks in the next episode. And stay frosty out there.